Hello everyone, my name is Lucas. Uh, people online know me as uh, Hand Broad Jeans or HPJ, and I've been a mashup enthusiast for a little over eight years now. Uh, I've been mixing music for the past five or six years, and I've been a participant in the mashup community for almost three years now. And an argument that I have seen come up time and time again is that mashups are fundamentally memes. And the fact that, well, I mean, this is someone's opinion, and I can't say that their opinion is wrong. However, I think that there is a level to mashups that is unaddressed or unappreciated uh, within listeners or even participants within this community as well. So the argument is due to its simplicity and even if it sounds good, mashups resemble too much like memes or shit posts and whatnot. And the argument of saying that it's because of the minimal effort that goes into a mashup, that's what makes it into a meme or that's what makes it sound meme -y. Even if it's completely validated or completely abides to musical theory or the design aspect of it that the mashup artist themselves has installed into their mix. So, mashups, as we know, is a combination of music. That is its core fundamental uh, existence. It's to mash up, it's to mix things together. So, if you're taking a song or a sample, whether it's an instrumental or an acapella, and you're putting it with another uh, piece of audible media, you are technically doing a mashup. Now, within the community, there are different uh, divisions. For example, this is a mix, and a mix might be might extend a lot longer. It might have songs play out more, or mashups where it's mostly just the song itself and just uh, arranged in a way that multiple sources come across as being cohesively one. Now, when it comes to the arguments that it requires minimal effort, I have seen project files where the mashup is so complex that it's hard to even, you know, uh, it's hard to dissect it and to deconstruct it. For example, I'm gonna say this. If you look at the project file for EXO Tour Life, it's not complicated at all. It's literally just some beats, uh, some hi-hats, um, a bit of a uh, gross beat, and simple, ver a very simple chord progression, and you have got your plucks, and then you got your vocals, and you throw a lot of reverb on it. Now, there are some project files that are so complex within the mashup community that it's a shame to not address it. For example, if we look at anything, well, well most of the stuff that Naki Nico has uploaded, you could go on and on and on about how Naki Nico has made his presence known as a mashup artist within the track. If you listen to the song It's Real Yo, I dare anyone to try to recreate that mashup. Because the amount of pitch shifting, amount of looping of the instrumental, and everything combined, it's so incredibly complex. Like the second half of the song was a complete original arrangement where you know you take the he took Naki Nico took the acapella, he looped certain parts of it, added reverb, a bit of delay, and made sure that it had this kind of building progression to it. So you have vocals from one section of the acapella and vocals from another section. They're brought in at different times, but then it eases you into it so that when a lot of sounds are going on at the same time, you're able to appreciate each sound on its own, and when it comes together, it is cohesive as music. And the mashup is with Ajoshi Raku, which is an anime, and by the band Real Estate, to the point where Real Estate even gave acknowledgement, saying that the mashup sounds really great. And, you know, to have a group of grown men who are disciplined and who make a living off of music to go and compliment a mashup, you know, it, it says something. It's like, hey, you did this to the work that I created, and I appreciate it. And another example, if you look at Shoopfex's You're a Puzzle, like that song, you know, the amount of pitch shifting that went into it, the, the effects and all that to match the original composition is very rich. 
And to anyone who tries to recreate that, good luck. It's very difficult. I feel as though, and this is my personal opinion, that anyone who makes this claim has not dove deeply enough into mashups as a whole. Okay, so here, here's another thing that I talk about quite often. Mashups do not need to be complex to be beautiful. In that you can have an acapella and an instrumental, you could literally slap it together. But if it sounds great, everything's in key, it's on time, and you know, the message behind it is strong, then yeah, you can totally run with it and it'll sound good as music. You know, it doesn't, not everything is a meme, not everything has to be funny. For example, there are some mashups that have made statements within this uh, community. For example, well, the best example that I can think of is uh, by Nibrock. He did a mashup uh, called A Little Hope. And I can't remember the where the vocals came from, but it, w they, it used an Undertale instrumental. Now people are like, oh, if you mix Undertale, it's, it's a meme. Just discard it as a meme, just right off the bat. But the message behind the lyrics of the song, plus the way that everything was kind of arranged, and that song was purposed to provide a narrative for recent terrorist attacks. You know, it's like, like you can agree that the, con the concept or the fundamental of mashups is silly, but, you know, to have, to be able to mix music with such a masterful level of skill, it, it, it does not feel right to dismiss it as being a meme. And that mashup itself, it's quite complex as well, you know, it, it, you need to have this level of music theory to be able to understand which songs go together and how to mix it. You know, I've dropped many, many, many hours into uh, finding the right combination to mixing the music and to make my own kind of presence known. I did a mashup called Purplish Day and that, that mashup took, I think about 30 or 40 total working hours over the span of I think two and a half weeks and I wanted to make it more than just the source material so I added my own melodies, I added my own plucks and my own samples and stuff but that doesn't make it better than a simple mashup that just has an instrumental and an acapella on top of it because sometimes it doesn't need to be complex you know when you listen to the radio sometimes you'll hear mashups and they're they're literally slap jobs but people like it and they drive entertainment for it. To say that memes and mashups are one and the same or are very closely related to the point where one medium can be derived from another, it's it's discrediting. It is discrediting. Because some people have taken mashups quite seriously and they're able to do fantastic things about it. Like Maddion, he started with remixes, but his mashups, it's his uh, pop culture mashup that you know, that brought him to exposure. You know, you can't say that's, oh, that's simple. Or, you know, if you listen to Sean Wasabi, even DJ Blau, like, actually, like, you know, DJ Blau, DJ Earworm, you know, they're pop mashup artists, but they do things with it that other people don't do. They'll do, you know, sentence rearranging, they'll, they'll merge melodies, they'll do a whole bunch of stuff, and there's a heavy-handed approach to it. Similarly, there are heavy-handed approaches to memes as well, and you know, so they're like, oh yeah, memes are simple, you just take these images and slap it together, but you know, if you look at a friggin' random example, Bagel Boy, um, the amount of editing that goes into his works is, is insane, like even though they are qu fundamentally uh, meme humor, there is a heavy-handed approach and there is a degree of skill that went into it. A degree of skill when it comes to, you know, audio editing and video editing as well. So, you know, what is it that determines something as being a meme? Is it the level of complexity? For example, like, you know, if you look at remixes, you know, friggin' Will I Am took a Mad Zoe song and literally just took a four on the floor kick and just slapped it on top of that. It's, it's so friggin' easy. But, you know, people consider that as music, and though he received backlash for it, 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 that doesn't make it a meme. Like, what makes it a meme? Like, you, you can't, how do you define that, right? Whatever it is, I don't think mashups are that. To say that, ma well, whenever you hear a mashup, it sounds like a meme or a shitpost, I don't know, I don't see eye to eye on that. 
because you know they I think that within the mashup community jokes really sell if you look at people like Acrylo if you look at um, I don't know I'm not gonna do any more name drops but there are mashup artists that you know they 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 do it for the joke they do it for the shareability and you know that's totally fine it's what they want to do the level of complexity that goes into it has no bearing as to how it is how it should be deemed or declared as a meme for example when people you know if, if someone were to associate mashups as being derived from memes that's completely false because the concept of mashups has been around for much longer than the concept of a meme it's just that memes have adapted a lot of the techniques from mashups and audio editing and music theory also if you're t if you are using the argument that the degree of skill or the lack of skill or the lack of effort goes into is what defines a meme mashup then when it comes to like if you do lo-fi hip-hop where instrumentals are literally you know you, you can have music from other older songs and they'll add a beat to it like how much effort actually goes into that for example you know if you let's, let's say you take a sample right you take your sample it's like a classical sample you add a beat to it you add you add a little bit of swing a little bit of uh gross beat you chop up the instrumental you add a little bit of uh you add a little bit of side chain you add your own samples you throw in a vinyl scratch for all i care you know there's not that heavy of a handed approach to it but that doesn't discredit it as music because that stuff sounds great to me at least anyways just a few thoughts on this and thank you for listening this is just something i wanted to discuss about okay 